reason is the ability to think in a certain way, usually considered to be in a manner devoid of emotion. The way we think is marked by seeing a cause, explanation, or justification beyond the emotions. Often this means the rational person is looking for a physical antecedent. But the reliance on physical causes does not do justice to the idea or concept of reason. When we reason we attempt to understand and form judgments by a process of logic in contrast to empiricism. This understanding contrasts reason with phenomenology and empiricism. Reason is deductive and seeks explanations through a priori reasoning. Rationalism is a belief or theory that opinions and actions should be based on reason and knowledge rather than on emotion, that reason rather than experience is the foundation of certainty in knowledge and reason is or ought to be the ultimate authority in religion. This latter point may seem to be inconsistent with Christianity but in fact it is the only religion that it is compatible with. But the question is, is rationalism possible? because if not the definitions and explanations of rationalism are moot. The question is whether man can overcome the dogmatism of religion and his emotional nature to achieve a rational mind. The first hurdle we need to surmount is the division between emotion and reason. As is the case with so many other things, there is either an observable line or not. If not there is no basis for claiming man can be rational. We can either think devoid of emotional baggage or we cannot. The emotional person or the person infected with emotion is not rational. One way around emotion is to test one's conclusions using the methods of science. The scientific method produces facts. It is a scientific fact that all plants produce seeds. But reason does not tell us that gold is heavier than silver, it is a scientific fact. It is not something that is rationally necessary. Though as we understand why gold weighs more than silver the fact can be buttressed with reason. Gold is denser than silver. However, facts are derived from experiments which form artificial environments. Facts are the result of the researcher systematically removing all variables other than the causative element. However, this is not how reason works. Oddly the entire point of reason is its absoluteness. One is rational or one is not. If one is rational one is defined by the process he or she uses in thinking. One cannot be rational and imperfect. That is not possible. If perfection is not possible, neither is rationality. Liberals do not think humans can be rational. Liberals are phenomenologists because they are dominated by their senses. This may not seem to be a significant fact, but if you think your reality is defined by what your senses can perceive then one is not a lot different from a tape recorder. The senses mean we can register external events and record them, but it says nothing about cataloging them let alone processing the inputs. It takes processing to turn signals into information. You have to understand the symbology used and how to decode the transmission to turn the signals received into a communication. Otherwise, the brain is recording noise that cannot be interpreted. Secularists run into problems at this point in the investigation because on what basis is noise analyzed to create information? If you cannot turn a transmitted signal into information reason is not possible, but then, what is reason but the way one decodes a signal? What is imperfect reason? The information and the transmission and the entire system of knowledge has to be perfect. At least at the source. If the information is subjective or erroneous, now is it fixed? There has to be a perfect truth if error is to be identified. This begins to increase the problem secularists have. Because information that is erroneous is not information and a source of information that is not perfect is not a reliable source of information. But it still gets worse because there are only two possible sources of information. Information may originate from a reliable source or from a random generator. But if the latter the recipient imposes order on the randomly generated noise. This latter is similar to nature. 
we have no direct perception of nature. Everything we know is fed to our brains through our sensory organs to our brains via our nervous system. But even the brain is nothing more than cells generating electrical impulses. Our vision of nature is accurate no doubt, but it is not because of the physical body. There is no way for the flesh to verify its interpretation. We do not even know if we all see the same color when we see purple. Do we see the same tree as everyone else? Do other people even exist? There is no possible means to validate our assumptions. If our perceptions are reliable, it only means we have access to information not dependent on the systems of the body. In other words, rationalism is possible only in an environment in which alternative pathways to knowledge exist other than the physical ones. Perfect knowledge and truth are not physical. Information is not physical. Truth is not physical. The transmission of information can utilize physical systems, but the information is medium independent. The same information can be transmitted by writing, Morse code, or phone. Truth requires God because truth has to have an origin of supreme intelligence. We cannot arrive at the truth by experiencing electrical activity in the brain, it is not possible. Even if there was a way to verify our impressions this would only be a pragmatic correspondence of our mental impressions with whatever caused those impressions to occur. But the electrical activity of the brain and never endings could not be equivalent to the cause. Rationalism is not possible without God. Rationalism requires truth be analytical, not synthetic. Truth is formed from deduction and a priori reason not induction and a posteriori events. Truth cannot be caused. Truth is the cause, truth is the origin not the consequence of events. Rationalism is possible if there is a source of absolute truth and therefore of truth that can be verified analytically. If there is logic in morality, there is truth. If truth is not the measure of what is right and good and logical then it does not exist. 